Hello, everybody. I'm Congressman Mark Takano, greeting you from my hometown of Riverside, California. It is an honor to join you virtually for your fifth annual LN Equality Gala and to celebrate the work you all do to advance equal rights in Japan. I wish we could be all together right now to applaud the progress you have made. But even if we're not gathered in person, our spirits are high. And we remain committed to making LGBTQ plus equality a reality in our countries. Since I last addressed you nearly two years ago, Japan has elected another LGBTQ plus person to the national diet, Taiga Ishikawa. I'd like to extend my greetings to Taiga Ishikawa and Kanako Otsuji. Ishikawa-san and Otsuji-san, you have made history and your election to the diet is proof that Japan is inching closer to full equality for all people. With the recent announcement by Prime Minister Abe about his resignation, I'll be looking to see what a new leader will do to advance equality in Japan, although I'm not too hopeful knowing that the LDP is a conservative party. I do wish Prime Minister Abe improved health, and I send my best regards to his family. We have also made progress in the United States since I last addressed you. Last year, we passed the Equality Act in the United States House of Representatives, which would finally make equality the law of the land. And to everyone's surprise, the conservative United States Supreme Court ruled in favor of LGBTQ plus rights this past summer, prohibiting discrimination against LGBTQ plus people in the workplace. It brings me joy to know that in just two years, our community has won some hard-fought battles, but there is still so much work left to be done. As an LGBTQ plus member of Congress, I share your passion to ensure uh, that the law does not discriminate against LGBTQ plus people. When people ask me what generation I identify with, I say I am a Sansei Yonsei. One of my grandfathers was an immigrant, and I was fortunate to know him until I was 15 years old. So while I feel a profound connection to Japan, at the same time, I am profoundly American with three American-born grandparents. As you all know, in my country, national identity is not based on being a member of a common race, or having a common creed, or a common religion. But it's based on the abstract idea of equality before the law. I believe that this American ideal in equality has universal appeal, and I look forward to the day when the people of Japan will be able to marry whom they love openly, without fear of discrimination. The last time I spoke to you, I expressed my hope that by the summer of this year, when the Olympic flag bearing interlocking rings would fly over Tokyo, that these Olympic rings would also symbolize same-sex marriage wedding rings being legalized in Japan. Unfortunately, the pandemic has postponed the Summer Olympics. But the upside is that we have more time to make the wedding rings of same-sex marriage in Japan possible when the Olympic flag flies over the rescheduled games. Let's find redemption that uh, when the eyes of the world turn again to Japan, that it will not only be able to take pride in the Olympic rings on the flag that flies over Tokyo, but on the rings of the fingers of same-sex Couples, I share uh, the profound goal with you to move our countries toward a more just and equal future. I look forward to continuing working with all of you to achieving just that. Thank you, stay safe, and enjoy the rest of the event.